how to do everybody um, I realized that the uh, Shiba model doesn't upload anymore I'm guessing that's with the uh, latest VR chat update with the SDK and uh, it not being able to upload with the actual 2017 version of Unity um, you actually have to download the 2018 uh, 4.20 which I'll have a link to in the description and um, how I fix this, because even with this, uh, the 2018 version of Unity and uh, the newest version of the SDK 2, it's for some reason still not working. So I actually, how um, now I figured out how to still upload the Shiba models. You just have to go over to the uh, Discord here and then go to Model and File Sharing. And you're just going to want to go up to pin messages, go down until you find the corpse Shiba model. I have pretty much just been using this one to upload the Shiba model. This actually has the uh, tail lagging and some other stuff as well. So you just want to download that here. How to get the original Shiba model to work, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why that's actually not working. So yeah, I'll get into how to actually import it into Unity and do some basic stuff there. Otherwise, the other video I had um like a month ago that explained how to upload the shiba model all the other stuff should still work like adding 3d objects and uh changing or importing your own uh emotes into it otherwise all that stuff should work about the same so yeah pretty much all i want to do next is just then create a new project uh another tip too actually before i go on this is just kind of a random tip um if you ever want to actually delete a unity project that you have all you have to do is just go to when you go into create a new project uh, don't actually create a project you want to go over here to location press that and then it'll bring up all your um, unity projects right here so you can pretty much just select it and then just del press delete and it'll delete the project but otherwise I'm gonna create a new project all right so once your scene has loaded in you're gonna want to go and you're gonna actually want to upload the or import the SDK too, and you want to make sure you have the latest version. Now you want to make sure you do the SDK first. If you don't, and you up, if you import the uh, Ma the Shiba model first, it's not gonna work. And I figured that out the hard way, just a little bit ago, and I'm having to do this all over again. All right, so once you have done that, you're gonna want to then upload or import. You're gonna want to import the Corpse Shiba. So next, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go over to Assets down here, and you're gonna want to press the Corpse Shiba right here. You can either select it there or right here, and uh, then open the Public Shiba. And then right here, you're gonna want to double click the uh, Shiba V4. You wanna, it's gonna have a little Unity logo right over. It. And uh, you're gonna just want to double click that. So once this is loaded in, you're gonna want to actually select the floor right here, and you're just gonna want to press delete. In the previous video, I didn't go over the actual basic steps of like moving around. There were some people asking or that were asking me about that, and I was like, oh, that's that that's something I should have gone over. So how you actually uh, look around like this is you uh, right click on your mouse and then drag it around to look around. You can also hold right click and then press WASD to actually move around. Then you can you can also press Alt and then left click. Otherwise, a useful movement is uh, this. You just press Control Alt and then left click and drag the mouse around to uh, view it like this. Oh, and you can also use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Otherwise, you can Control and then right click to uh, zoom in and out. So with the uh, basic controls out of the way, I'm gonna go on to actually how to add textures to this. Otherwise, right now, with this all imported, that's pretty much all you're gonna know. The other video pretty much goes over some of the same steps I'm gonna go over now. Just uh, right now, it has a little bit of a different layout, as you can see. Textures are over here, along with uh, materials. Materials and textures are separated. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to bring your um, textures into the, uh, you're going to want to drag that in. For me, I just select the albedo, the emission, and spectral smoothness. And then for the tail, the albedo and spectral smoothness for the 
For the other tutorial video, I go over how to use Substance Painter. Once you've dragged that in, you're going to want to actually go over to Materials right over here on the left hand side. Select the Shiva, and you're going to want to drag it in where it belongs. So, albedo with albedo, spectral smoothness with spectral smoothness, emission with uh, with color, and then you would do the same thing with the tail. Otherwise, uh, right now it's pretty much done. Another step I'm actually going to go over, just because this is something I might actually fix later, is uh, as you can see this little white dot right there. That's actually where your camera view is in VR chat. You can see that's kind of kind of back a little ways from the eyes. So how you can actually change that is it's over in you select the model you're gonna go over here on the right hand right hand side under inspector it's under view um, under the VR chat avatar descriptor it's um, just down here under view position so actually I'm gonna bring that up too oh yeah see <laughs> yeah you really move it around um, so you could just change this around until you kind of get a good until you find like what you think is a good view it's really just up to you I'm gonna probably I'll put it right here for now the, the height's a little off but pretty much after that you can just upload it which isn't hard you just go up to VR chat SDK show control panel sign into your account and then next step too actually is um, you're gonna want to auto fix this another thing too before we move on I realized uh, you're gonna actually want to detach all of these pipeline managers so then once you're done with that you can build and publish when you're ready right now uh, yeah I have the broken one if you're gonna upload it with the other um, with the actual other model if you're gonna try to upload it on like the 2017 version or the older SDK this is actually what would happen and as you can see, um, my camera view is very high up. Uh, I cannot make any facial gestures. And when I make noise, my mouth does not move. But yeah, this is a fix to that, which I'll show you. And I changed to the one I just did. So you can see, um, my camera view is fixed. And I can make facial gestures along with If I talk my uh, mouth moves so yeah that is pretty much it so yeah if you enjoyed this tutorial uh, consider liking and possibly even subscribing if, if you want and uh, share this with anyone who you think might want to upload their own Shiba model or you know is having the same issue otherwise that is all a good rest of your day